What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. Today we have a guy with the engineer class, Battlefield 2042 now has classes and I want to give you a quick guide on the engineer class. Which are the best guns to play? What are the best specialists to play? The best gadgets? When do you play it? And how do you play it? Now what's important to know is engineers are crucial to the success of any vehicles in battle. This class is best suited to fortify spaces and keep the team's vehicle in the game. Specialist Boris, Crawford and Liz can also be dependent on to take down enemy vehicles from afar and provide the team with equipment that will make it harder for enemy team to take control of objectives. What's important to realize with this is that you can take down enemy vehicles. The gadgets that you will be provided are definitely more for longer range. You don't, uh, you do have to see five, but that's more on the assault class. So you can still take down players from longer range. Wouldn't really recommend trying to play too close to the enemy vehicles, even though you get a ton of gadgets to try and take them down. Now, the most important thing, of course, with 2042's engineer class is that your main goal will be destroying or supporting vehicles. And the extra treat you get is improved accuracy while crouched or prone while using LMGs. This is only for using the LMGs. So if you want to be more of a defensive player, want to help and support your friend who are in vehicles, or if you're a vehicle player yourself, the engineer class is definitely the way to go. Your main, your main gadget will be the repair I'm tool, whatever AI specialist you're using, or whatever gadgets, your main like, gadget will be the repair tool. You'll like also have the AT mines, recallers, the FXM-33AA like missile, the Javelin, the AOD bot, and the C5 explosive. All gadgets to take down or to support your uh, vehicles with. Now, in my opinion, I think it is uh, the by far the best way for this class is if you're close to your friendly teammates. You can, however, try and take down enemy vehicles, but since all the gadgets you'll be having, except the C5, are long range gadgets, and the AT mine, of course, is kind of used as a defensive way if you're thinking players could be running over that with their vehicles. But the Regulus, the AA missile, the Javelin, and the AOD bolt are both or all used for longer range vehicle damage. So try and play a little bit more defensive, a little bit more from range. Uh, you can still play very aggressive with the C5 explosions if you're more into close range quarter situations where there are still vehicles. However, I think playing for a longer distance is definitely more supportive as you can repair your friendly vehicles and you can still do damage to enemy vehicles. I've seen a lot of gunfights where there's like tanks versus tanks and that one engineer player can make the difference uh, while using extra explosions on the enemy vehicle while also being able to repair his friendly vehicle. Now the three specialists you get are Boris, Crawford and Liz. The main thing if you're playing on more open maps is use Liz as this will be the one who can again do longer range damage to vehicles especially again in those tank 1v1 battles you can be the deciding role of just hitting one of those rockets and you give your friendly vehicle such a big advantage. So try and use Liz on the more open maps, on the more close range maps use Boris and Crawford. Boris and Crawford are not the very best specialists at supporting your teammates' vehicles. However, they can be very good at the more defensive playstyle, which you should be using while playing Engineer. This is also in very good combination with the improved accuracy while being crouched or prone with LMGs. So the main guns you will be using is LMGs, have a more of a defensive playstyle. Try and support your friendly vehicles as much as possible, while also dealing damage to enemy vehicles. Dealing damage to enemy vehicles might even be more important than supporting your own vehicles as this will allow your other class teammates that are not using engineer to push through and take objectives. So try and focus on taking down vehicles as much as you possibly can. Of course the main guns you want to be using is the LMG class, however the engineer class can also be very useful with the marksman rifle, sniper and assault. Now when do you play engineer? You do play Engineer if you like to use LMGs. If there's a game mode with a lot of vehicles and you have friends in vehicles that you want to be supporting and if you have that more of a defensive playstyle, you do not want to be using the Engineer class if you want to be playing super aggressive up close to the enemy team. This Engineer class will not be the most useful. Engineer can also be useful on infantry only game modes, however, 
Um, it will not be the most useful in terms of gadgets as the only one you will kind of want to be using is the C5 explosion. Maybe the Recolus M5 if you're going for infantry only game modes. You still want to be the more defensive player with those LMGs. Hopefully this will give you an overall overview on the engineer class, which guns to use, which specialists to use, which gadgets. If you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll be happily answering them. If this was useful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.